The world's communist and labor parties held an international meeting in Damascus for three days. Fifty-two parties from over 40 countries attended the meeting to strengthen international solidarity with Palestine in the face of intensified Israeli aggression. This conference was held outside of our regular meetings because of the exceptional nature of the situation that Arabs are facing with regard to Israeli aggression, especially in Gaza, and the need for solidarity with our people in Palestine and Syria. The South African delegation said Israeli aggression is comparable to the apartheid in South Africa. They also highlighted the important role that international solidarity played in the collapse of the racist regime. In fact, the Israeli state is an apartheid state. Although in some instances it's actually worse than what the apartheid regime did, you know. I mean, there's virtually no movement of people there. You know, the inequalities, the racism, you know, that is being fostered in the name of the, of the Jewish state, you know. There are many similarities, apart from the fact that, by the way, the Israeli regime was actively collaborating and supporting the apartheid regime because they are two of the same kind, as it were. The conference community outlines a number of plans to support the establishment of a Palestinian state with the Quds as its capital and the marking of two dates to organize activities in support of the Palestinian cause. November 9th was set as the day of international solidarity with the people of Palestine to hold demonstrations in front of Israeli and US embassies and call on the international community to heed the boycott call of Israel and pressure Israel to halt settlement construction in Al Quds. The second date was set for May 15, which marks the anniversary of the mass expulsion of the Palestinians in 1948, to make way for the creation of Israel. We are demanding Israel to foot, fulfill the international law. It is the main aspect and also one, once again to support the Palestinian people and to say that they are going to obtain the victory because their resistance, because more than 60 years now are enough for killing people and not to allow any peace opportunity is something that the international community cannot support anymore. The delegates also decided to push for a legal team to try Israel for war crimes against the people of Palestine, Syria and Lebanon. The conference attendees stated that the outcomes were successful and stressed the importance of maintaining support for the struggle within the Middle East against Israeli aggression. Rehab Sharida for Press TV, Damascus.